My son gets really excited when that envelope comes. To Erica Warbeck of Cecil, Pennsylvania, mail-in voting is more than just their civic duty. It's also a family ritual with their 10-year-old son. There's no stickers involved, but we still get to vote. Two months after a primary election in April, she learned her ballot was not counted because she had inadvertently marked her ballot with an incomplete date. I was pretty surprised by that. My disappointment was more in the fact that if I had known, I would have shown up to the poll and cast a provisional ballot. Right. Um, but there was no notification of that. Hers was among 259 mail-in ballots in her county that were not recorded because of a ballot error. I was frustrated with the system. Uh, I felt it was un-American in the process. And um, I felt like my civil liberties were infringed upon, you know? I mean, we live here because we have a right to shape our government. And how could primary results be accurate if so many ballots were not cast? In July, Warbeck, who prefers to vote by mail because she suffers from an autoimmune disease, joined a growing number of voters who are going to court to ensure they have access to the polls and their ballot is counted in the November 5th presidential election. Their cases are part of the roughly 70 election-related lawsuits filed in seven battleground states, including Pennsylvania, according to a review of cases on Democracy Docket, a website that tracks election cases. After being approached by the state's branch of the American Civil Liberties Union, Warbeck agreed to join six other voters from Washington County near Pittsburgh, who sued their election board. It's about transparency. Um, and um, when you go and, and send in a mail-in ballot, um, there should be correspondence back to the voter to let them know that not only their ballot was received, but that it was also processed and counted. And if there are errors that would prevent that ballot from being counted, that you are receiving you know, correspondence that indicates that you had an error on your ballot and gives you opportunity to cast a provisional ballot. In August, a judge ruled that officials must document if a mail-in or absentee ballot has an error, so voters can mount a challenge or cast a provisional ballot at their polling place. The county election board did not respond to a request for comment.